I'm Sam van der Stark. I'm the director for Europe at International Idea based in Brussels. Well, European politics are largely about uh, coalitions and forming majorities. So what we'll be seeing now is how that majority will be formed. Uh, and as of course, we saw that the, the far right in a number of countries performed well, especially the big countries in the European Union, less so in a few smaller countries, such as in the Nordics and Spain, Portugal, even Hungary, Poland. So now that coalition has to be formed, uh, and the expectation is that overall, the centrist policies that we have seen over the past five years, if Ursula von der Leyen becomes the president again, will continue. It will continue with slight changes, uh, but we can expect more or less the same course as we have seen over the past five years. The other thing that will change are the positions in parliament. So some of the winners, especially on the far right, will demand more top jobs uh, in the parliament, committee chairs and so on. And that's because they did relatively well in the European Parliament elections. But ultimately, it's about how the Council of the European Union is formed, and that's the heads of state and government. So the current makeup is as we currently know it. What will be important is the national elections that we'll be following, starting with the one in France.